Hi everyone, welcome back to Friday Favourite. So as you can see from what I'm holding here, today is going to be my favourite Paper Lovers books. So I have all of them. I have every Paper Lovers book that has ever been released, including the brand spanking new Thrive one, which I put a video up on yesterday. So I will link that down below and you can check it out. I have done walkthroughs, I believe, of every single one of these. So I will link them all down below and you can go and check them out. But I'm just starting these in no particular order of the Paper Lovers book. So this is the 2016 Inspiration one. It came with the pink, which was never really a full collection. The Write Your Own Tomorrow and the 2016 Inspiration range, which had the really darker kind of gold. Um, I love this one. You guys know that. I've used it not as often as I probably could have. Um, but it is definitely one of the better ones. The next one is the 2015 Cute, I think. Um, if you're lucky, you can still find this one in store, but don't bank on that. Um, it is being slowly, not phased out, but sort of um, finished off. And it had the, what became the precursor of the pause range, like the the mint and the black and the white. Um, it had some of the, I still don't know what this range was called. I have no idea. I think it was Live What You Love or something like that, um, which was big but didn't really become that big. The blue and orange range, basically. Um, and the cute range, which we all know and love and think is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really like this one. I love the pause stuff at the back. That's the part that I always loved most and to, for them to actually then go and make a full collection out of this eye over the moon. So that one is another really, really good one. This next one is the one that made me fall in love with Kiki K and Paper Lovers books in the first place. And that is the absolutely amazing Mountains Paper Lovers book. I adore this. You'll see in a minute. It, it's one of my favourites, happy to tell you now. But it is definitely in the top three. And it comes with the precursor of the 2016 cute range. It kind of ad adapted from here. The Life is Sweet. Uh, and then the Beautiful Mountains range as well. So that's all in that one. Love this one. And we've got the Thrive Paper Lovers book. This is the brand new one. Came out or well, isn't officially out yet. I did a walkthrough of this just yesterday. I only just got my hands on this one. Um, so if you haven't seen it already, I would suggest going and having a look because it is pretty cool. Um, just has the two ranges in it, which is a slight differentiation, I hate that word, um, from what they normally do, but it's nice to do something different. And just has the pink and the green sides of this collection. Really nice, really, really like this one. Can't wait to start using it. Then got the Vance Gap, which is just, oh, Vance Gap, which comes with the... This was the sort of cute, I used cute a lot, um, but the sort of cute range that came out mid-2016 with their mid-year diaries. I wish they had done more with this. I think it's gorgeous. I love this one. Um, also has some contrast in it, which you guys know wasn't my favourite, but then also the Vance Gap, which is probably one of my favourites. So, yes, love that. And this was the, f I think this was the first one that had the, the vertical envelopes. Yes, that I love using so much. So that is definitely, oh, well, I won't precurse it yet, but that's one. That's another really good one. Next one is the Food Paper Lovers book. I think I've said this before. This is probably my least favourite one. Definitely the least used and the only one other than the original cute one and the Christmas one, which you can't get doubles of, that I don't have a double of because I'm just never going to use it. Um, so it comes with a sort of modified version of the cute range in a foodies kind of one. Then has this blue range which people would have seen in store but never really came out on its own. And then this sort of foodies range as well. I have tried to use things out of this. It just, it doesn't quite ever work with anything. I kind of, I need to be more, I like eating food, I don't like cooking food. So it is really pretty, I do really like it but yeah, not one of my favourites. The next one is my most, it's my most prized, but it's definitely not my favourite, um, and it's the original cute paper lovers book. This was the very, very first one, and I got it 
really luckily from a lovely, lovely lady who did a trade with me. I never, as I said when I did the walkthrough of this, I never thought I'd get my hands on it. So just to have it, I'm so, so happy. So this one came with a very bright kind of pink range at the back. Um, and it had black and yellow, which I think was the precursor of the black and yellow range that came out. Um, and then has the original cute stuff, which is just gorgeous. It really is. I wish I had a love Kiki K when this all came out because it is absolutely spectacular and I adore it. That still is the most amazing piece of paper. Um, I'll put a whole, I have done the walkthrough of this one obviously, so that'll go down below. Like I said, my most prized, but probably not my favorite. Not Probably not gonna make it into the top three. I'll decide that in a minute. So the next one is the 2000 and inspiration yeah that must be right um, and what it's got in here it's got another version of the black and yellow that this was what sort of became the black and yellow range I think it was called hello tomorrow was what it was actually called very very pretty very very bright but maybe it's a good day sunshine I don't know but it was absolutely gorgeous I do really like it and then you've got the be brave range which the more I look at it the more I think it's it, this is where they've taken the ideas from the Thrive range for. They've just changed the colours up a little bit. And that's something that I never really noticed before, which is sort of interesting, is that they've only used the pink side of this. They never actually used the blue. That's interesting. Um, and then you've got the Inspiration range that came out that has more of the, the bronze or copper as opposed to the gold. Really pretty, this one. I really like it. So that's that one. And then the last one is the other one that I don't have a double of, which was the Christmas Paper Lovers book from last year. And it just flew off the shelf so quickly I never got a chance to get at it. But I have used a lot out of here. You can sort of see there's a lot missing. Um, so you've got a sort of black and gold range at the back, which is so pretty. Um, then it's sort of it's like a rose gold as opposed to a gold gold, which is... So, so nice. Then you've got a black and yellow gold kind of collection and then this cute one with the beautiful elves and the gold at the front. Love that one. Really love that one. Uh, and only and only not in the favourites because it's Christmas, which makes it very hard to pick. So if I am going to pick, what am I going to pick? Oh, it's so hard. No, it's not. Well, I guess it is. Definitely definitely the mountains because I love all three of the ranges in that one mm, yeah we'll go with the cute oh will we I think I think this is the no, I don't like the pink this is so hard so hard one two and we'll go with the van scat I'm not a fan of the contrast in the middle but I don't hate that as much as I really don't like the, the right, the pink, the pink. Oh my God, make your brain work. The orange and blue range that's in the cute. I just, I can't, not can't stand it, but really don't like it. Um, so those are my three favorites. Definitely the mountains first, then Vance Gap, and then, and then the inspiration one. We'll go with that. That's the final one. Oh, I nearly forgot. Wait a minute. There's one more Paper Lovers book that I haven't got in here that I always forget about. It's just hiding from me. It's this one, which I never remember. It's not going to make it into my favourite, so I, it doesn't affect my top three. But this is the one that came in the um, limited edition Paper Lovers book box that came out at Christmas time. It is, it's not my favourite, and it's not my favourite because, and it's the same thing with their note paper. It's not white, it's slightly off yellow, so when you use it on things, it, it kind of looks odd. And I don't like that it's so small, I wish they had it come out with the full size. But, that is this one as well. I always forget it, because it doesn't live with my other Paper Lovers books, it lives in the drawer. But that is the other one, but that doesn't affect the top three. We'll go with these ones as my top three, so Mountains, Inspiration and Vance Gap. Love them, love them, love them. I have doubles, I'm just bragging now really, I have doubles of all of them except... The Christmas, the actual Christmas one, 
the little baby one and the foodies one and the original cute one because they're just too hard to get. So yeah, I'm bragging. Just a little. Sorry. Can't help it. Love them. Um, Paper Lovers books are one of those things when they come out, I don't even stop to look at them. I just order. It just saves time because I'm going to buy it anyway, so you might as well go with it. Um, if you like craft at all, these are brilliant. These are just brilliant. So that's it for today's Friday Favourites. I hope you liked it. I got a little bit too excited in there. I'm sorry. Paper Lovers books do that to me. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to let me know what your favourite Paper Lovers books are, please leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you. I love to interact with you. So you can also find me on Facebook, Snapchat and on Instagram if you don't feel like putting a, a post up here on YouTube. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos I have got a little update coming up next week because I'm going away um, in a week and a bit's time so I'll put that video up next week but if you haven't subscribed now would be a really good time because I'm not gonna be able to promote quite as heavily um, while I'm away other than that guys that's all for today I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend you get some really good planning done and I will see you for decoration on Monday have a good weekend bye